So you might be trying to figure out how you can go through and connect your Xbox Series X or S controller to Steam. Now, doing this is actually very basic and it doesn't really take too much time at all. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is understand that at the core, all we're doing is connecting our controller to our PC that we're using. So you can do this by either doing it wirelessly or by grabbing a USB Type-C cable to a cord that connects to your PC and plugging in your controller to your PC. So either you can plug it in just like this to your PC like this, and it'll automatically, you know, come up. Or what you can do is you can make your way over into your Bluetooth settings of your Windows PC or your Mac, whatever you have. So go right into mm -hmm. settings. You then want to go and go right into your Bluetooth settings. So go and find Bluetooth devices, which is right here. Go and click on add a device. And then you want to go and get into your Bluetooth devices and basically pair this controller up by holding down the sync button that's in the middle right here until your controller starts blinking rapidly with a white light on the front. So then once your controller is connected via the wire or via Bluetooth, what you're going to want to do that, then next is make your way over into Steam. And then you want to go and get into your Steam settings. And you can do this by tapping on Steam in the top left corner and then going down into settings, which is right there. Then this page is going to come up. What you're going to want to do is go down until you find this controller option, which is right here. And then you'll see your controller name. As long as this controller name pops up with whatever the name of your controller is, if it's an Xbox One controller, Series X or S controller, whatever it is, that'll show up right here. And as long as your you know, PC is connected to your computer and you see your controller name up here, that's basically all you're going to have to do. You should then be able to go, go inside of any game that supports you know, this controller and be able to use it from there. So that basically covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button now me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.